friends, welcome to another super awesome work video here on Honestly Handyman channel. We got a great job going on today. Uh, we got kind of a doozy. We are tearing down a pergola. So it's going to be a little bit crazy. Uh, hope we don't kill ourselves in the process. This thing is huge. So you guys are definitely going to want to see this video. Um, it's a beautiful winter day here in, uh, in California. <laughs> so we're heading out to the job right now and it's, it's going to be a good one. We got a pergola to tear down. We're also doing some electrical. Uh, so all in all, it should be a really great day's work. We're working again with Dan. Um, if you guys don't know who that is, check out my past videos. I'll link some up here where you can take a look and meet Dan. He is our newest employee. But uh, anyways, let's get going on today's job. Oh, before we get started on today's job, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, I can guarantee you, you've been missing out on some great content. So subscribe to this channel. Also leave me a comment in the comment section below with what you think about today's video. So let's get going. Here's our pergola we're taking down. It's a pretty long guy. There's Dan, Dan the man. Good morning. <laughs> All right, let's get to tearing this puppy down. Well, here's what we got. We got all the tops off. So now we just gotta remove all these guys and everything else. How do you want to remove these? Lower them down to you? Yeah. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Because this, oh boy. Yeah, this guy's coming down. Yeah. Or what if they can touch the ground? Not quite. You, if you got. Yeah, if I get it like that. Yeah. Are all gonna pop up like that though? Try not. You gonna let it swing or you want me to catch it? I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I
So wanted to come down a few times on us here. So we got them kind of wedged up, but this whole structure is just ready to go. So we're leaving a few choice ones, like that one we're leaving in. I think we're gonna put another block right here to hold this, but man, this is what the client did. So it wouldn't fall, because it was just ready to go. So try not to have it fall on us while we're working. All right, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. What would you guys do in this situation just to make sure it doesn't fall on you while you're working? We're trying our best we can, and I think we got a good plan. But I'd love to hear what you guys would do. Leave me a comment in the comment section below, and we'll get this keep going. Anyways, they are fairly rotted, so we're gonna go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, well, didn't she say? I, I don't remember what it was. I don't remember either. Got our first few sections down. Check this foundation out. It's kind of interesting. This thing just, uh, these just rotted away from the get-go. You see water down there, standing water. And then here, they kind of just uh, put the concrete right around it. Not really legit or anything, but it's going good. We got to be a little bit more careful here because we got a few things that we can break. So we uh, don't want to just let it fall. Dan, how do you think it's going? Mm, it's going good, actually. Going real good. Look at these beams. That's real nice. That, that makes you hungry for lunch right there. Thank you. 
Wow, you won't believe the footings on this pergola. Check this out. I'm going to show you guys what the footings are. Just absolutely crazy. You're going to want to see this. Check this out. We were just going to remove a little bit of uh, the footings here, but this is it. Just a couple inches of concrete. And then there's nothing else down there. I mean, this should have been like at least two feet of concrete holding up this pergola. And it's just these. And each one is the exact same. This was the exact same. We already removed that one. Um, then this one over here, this is just absolutely crazy. Look at that. That's all the concrete that was holding it down. Never seen anything like that before in my life. Absolutely crazy. Don't do it like this, guys. Go here again. Okay. Pop that up. Yeah. Ready? There you go. Oh, yeah. Well, that's some. That's a decent amount of concrete some there. Some good concrete. Yep. On that one. That would pop. This one had an alright amount of concrete in it. Post is still in there pretty solid on those but yeah those over there only had a couple inches especially that one was just crazy do we have one here there is one there i think it's well covered yeah. concrete, that's what it was. nope they didn't bring enough they ran out of concrete after that first hole well here we go here's our final look at the pergola which is no more turned out good Good job, Dan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Got it all cleaned up. From the other side there. The client still has this pergola, and then there's one on the other side of the house too. I kind of wonder what these footings look like, because they're pretty much done the exact same, but they're solid right now, so we can't really, uh, can't really say that they're fallen over or anything like that but here is our dump trailer this is dan's dump trailer pretty nice trailer actually and then we got all of our wood on there so should be good to go all right our next job of the day is to replace these fluorescent light fixtures a few of them actually don't work yeah only this one works right here these two just don't work at all so i think the ballasts are most likely bad in them so we're actually just going to replace them with some LED fixtures and we're going to get rid of this fourth, uh, this fourth fixture. So we're going to get into it, show you all how we wire it up. Let's get on it. These are the lights we're going with. They got the same kind of diffuser on them. 
and they actually have two strips of LEDs on them. Simple wiring plugins. These are the same ones I used at another house a while back, but we got three of them. So let's get them up there. Nice, look at that. Bam, baby. Looking good. Should I leave the power on for years? Yeah. <laughs>
Last one, Alan. You see the pull to remove. The last one's backwards, so I think it just flipped that. It's got to be changed around. Look at that. Perfectly in line too. Is it? Mm-hmm. Now that is beautiful. Man. Here's our final product on the uh, the lights. Looking good. They actually all three work, which is an improvement. As you can see, the old ones weren't even straight because this one, the lack of paint is on this side. And then this one, the lack of paint is on this side. Same with over there. So we got it looking good. There we go, no light, light. No light, light. Turned out great. If you guys have any questions on how we wired this up, ask us in the comments. Would love to uh, would love to talk with you all about uh, how we wired and installed these. Turned out pretty good. All right, what a great job! That turned out pretty good. We got that pergola down. Uh, we got uh, Dan's trailer all loaded up, and we didn't die tearing the pergola down. So that was great. That was absolutely crazy about the foundation of that pergola, man. Some of those there are just man was barely any concrete i have never seen that before i can't believe people would do that and the crazy thing is those pergolas are they they come with the house i mean every house around there has has those pergolas around it so the home builder obviously put those pergolas in or they contracted it out but they did a horrible job man but uh absolutely crazy we got that down we got those three lights replaced in the garage so that was pretty great. We are heading to the dump right now. We're going to the North Highlands dump uh, where all the chickens are, if you guys know this area. <laughs> so we're heading out there, gonna do that. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I know you guys are watching this uh, after the fact, so I hope y'all had a great Christmas. I'm looking forward to my Christmas, should be a good one. Um, yeah, we're taking off for Christmas Eve and Christmas, and then we'll be back in action. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great one. If you haven't yet, subscribe to this channel. I can't say it enough. <laughs> Leave me a comment, like this video. Thank you all so much, and we'll talk to you on the next video, guys. See